Yes, sir. It is your boy, David, man. First of all, let me just say it's 93 degrees out here, okay, y'all? It's just 93 degrees. It feels like 105. I ain't lying. You can even see the sweat on my shirt. I'm trying to make two different videos because I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, but I got to make a video for the family. That way, you know, not all my business is out there to every single body. But basically, I got the job today at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, I'll show y'all some of the shirts. It's two different shirts, all right? You got the big boy logo right there. Yes, sir. That's upside down, but you can still see the buffalo on it, you know. This is the one that y'all are probably used to seeing if you have walked into a buffalo wild wing spot. It's like a big, big yellow logo on everybody's chest, really. But I didn't want that, so I told my boy, give me another... Well, not my boy, my general manager. Let me say it like that. Um, I told him, can I get another shirt, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me show you all this real quick. Yeah, saw some like they are hot. You know what I'm saying? Them wings. That's that wing sauce right there for you. Yes, sir. But so today was the first onboarding day for me. Um, I would put the shirts on, but you see what will happen if I do that. I actually do not want to get my workday shirt that I just got wet or sweaty or anything like that. So probably like the 21st or something like that, which was last week, was when I applied and I got the job. I fit the standards, you know. I worked at Taco Mac. It's the same job I'm doing, serving assistants. So basically, I'm assisting all servers. Hey, you need extra napkins? Do you need, uh, let's say a server goes into the bathroom and their table's waiting. Y'all know how y'all be waiting all day for your food? I mean, well, Buffalo Wild Wings, you can automatically scratch thinking that you're going to get your food immediately. All right. It's a 45 minute minimum wait. But let's be real. Most of y'all go there and order 30 wings, you know, 20 wings. If you're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I suggest do the two for two, you know, or it might not be a two for two, but there's got to be a $20 wing deal where you ain't got to get 30 or 40 of them. Because if you get 30 or 40 of those wings, you got to put in the fact that, hey, you might want fries. Those got to be cooked. You might want, uh, you know, a burger, too. That would take time. So it's the food thing. It is crazy. I won't lie, but you just got to stick with it. And that's why I'm here now working for Buffalo Wild Wings, because I'm making sure all that's coming out the back quick. You know, motivator, team motivator, baby. I'm doing a whole lot of yapping for somebody who's supposed to be doing a whole lot of explaining about their job. So I got my two T-shirts today. This is just an onboarding day, so I, I, I met my general manager. I met him before I even applied. Uh, I had went up there not even a couple days after I got fired from Taco Mac. And I was like, hey, man, do you think y'all have a uh, serving assistance here? Because I didn't know if any other restaurant job had it because my first restaurant job was Taco Mac. So I asked him, and I had a few, you know, shots before. So I was just asking him on a very cool level because I knew that he was the general manager there. And if I was going to be getting a job, I did not. Want to be out here drinking crazy, talking to him. So I respectfully asked him, you know, like, do y'all have this? And they did. So I went and applied like, no, I didn't even apply immediately that night. I took like a whole week and a half after he told me that to go ahead and apply. But it's like that process was like two weeks, you know, these past two weeks. So it was nothing long at all. Uh, today, basically, I went in there onboarding. I, I eventually just... Had to, you know, give him my ID, give him my social, things like that, just to get into the system, the computer system, you know, setting up direct deposit, you know, onboarding stuff, basically. I do have training. I have to have training. Unfortunately, I don't care about training. And I, I already know after this first day, that general manager knows good and well, David Green does not care about no training because I've already done this position. But I'm going to play by the cards and play my cards right. Instead of being a know-it-all, I'm just going to listen, you know, tell them, hey, hey, yeah, I understand, yeah, all that extra. And then I'm going to go ahead and start working next week. Today's the 26th. So July 26th for the next, the rest of this week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm doing training. All right. So also, you know, with the hours of this job, I'm really going to be able to pick my own hours, kind of how I did before. It's also the fact that they're not going to be open until 2 a.m. in the morning. You know, as soon as the pandemic happened. It was more so like there was not going to be any of that. You know, it's 11 to 11, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now, I won't be working every single day 11 to 11, but there will be Friday nights, Saturday nights where I already know I'm going to pull that double shift off. Instead of working like 11 to 4, I'm going to work 11 to 11. Or instead of working from 4 to 11, I'm going to work 11 to 11, if you understand. This video for Facebook that I'm putting out, I already know it's kind of all over the place if you're listening but you get an idea. It's a restaurant job and it's great for me because I'm getting paid a lot better. Let me just go ahead and talk about that because it is extraordinarily insane to me that I was finagled, bamboozled, or really even just like finessed. 
Like, because when I worked at Taco Mac, at first I was a server. I was not just a server assistant. I was a server. But due to my needs and all this extra stuff that I like to do outside of jobs, I never could focus on really being a good server. I'm just going to be honest, you know. So it's more so the fact that as a server, I was getting paid very little hourly because I was bringing home tips, tips every single night. So they would only pay you. And this is at a lot of restaurant jobs. This is mostly at every restaurant job. You're not going to be getting paid great hourly because you take home tips, which are good tips. What they would do is... The pay is $2. It's $2, like $2.45 an hour for being the server. On top of tips, you take home tips. I mean, you got to think about the tips, though. It's not just about the hourly. You know, you're taking home like 11 people at a table, and somebody might drop a $100 tip. You know what I'm saying? And as long as you don't have to split that with anyone, any other servers that might have helped throughout the table, you're taking home $100. So, you know, some people are not making $100 in one night. You're making that off of one table some nights, you know. So you got to consider the fact that it's $2 an hour plus all those extra tips, which is not unfair pay. But for my case, let me go ahead and explain it. For my case, it was really bad because it's like, man, I was getting paid $2 an hour as a server. But then I switched. I switched over to become a server assistant, which means I felt in my own lane that I should have been getting paid a lot more for the job task that I had to do. Taco Mac in Hiram, Georgia was not any type of slow business, all right? I was there when we first opened August the 5th, I mean, April the 5th, so it's more so like, you know what I'm saying, ongoing. Due to all that fast paced traffic, it's like, man, I was not tripping off of that $2, but it had got to a point where it's like, am I really supposed to be getting paid $2 for all this work I'm doing, working 50 hours a week, or are they screwing me over? And I never really understood that until today. I started working in February for Taco Mac, quit that job July the 6th, and I'm just now finding out July the 26th that I was supposed to be getting paid totally different? That's insane. Let me talk to y'all about this. Taco Mac paid me $2.45 on top of my tips. Now, to put into perspective how much I was making, I work 50 hours a week because that's how I want more money. I've realized the more you, more hours you work at a restaurant job, the more you're going to be getting paid. Obviously, that, that can go without say. But so I'm taking home $700 a week, $700, because I was getting paid a percentage as well as hourly. So as a server, you're not getting paid a percentage of anything because you're getting tips. But for me, I was getting hourly and a percentage of business. So whatever the business made for the day, I would get a small percentage of that. So how it worked was it was 2.5% of sales, but I would only get 1% of that. 1.5% would go to bartenders. So there's your, what, 2.5 right there? If that makes sense. If it's not 2.5, I'm sorry, but I got paid like 1% and the bar would get paid 1.5. So right now I'm getting that 1.5% I'm getting that 1% still. I'm getting paid now five more dollars extra than what I have got paid at Taco Mac. Because that's how I was, supposed to, I was supposed to be getting paid that from the jump if I was a server assistant, which I had originally switched over to after maybe about one month of working as a server. So there you go. Five more dollars an hour than two. There's seven dollars an hour. Minimum wage is what I'm getting paid right now, to be exact. I'm getting paid minimum wage on top of my business percentage sales which is 1%. So whatever Buffalo Wild Wings makes for the day, I get a percent of that, which is extraordinarily good. And I get to take it home. I get to take it home that night. At Taco Mac, they would hold all those tips for that night and they would give it to me every Wednesday. So it was weekly, you know. Um, you know, I would get that weekly and then I would get my hourly check every other week. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy to explain, but I'm giving y'all this and you could kind of run with it because nobody else is telling nobody about this information online no matter where you go youtube safari google nobody's telling you how they're getting paid but i gotta go ahead and end this off for facebook because i have to do this on youtube as well this is what i'm gonna leave y'all with it's an update you know i'm starting to work now and anybody who's been watching me you know like hey this is gonna keep happening like i'm gonna keep making these youtube videos and to let y'all know i've been doing youtube for many years like many years it's just that it's not popped off yet but it doesn't matter because you see i have that personality and with a good personality, good
good things come. It just takes time and I already am someone who knows this. So thank y'all for watching this, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings orientation video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I'm gonna try to edit it. Um, if I can't edit it, I'm just gonna throw it all at y'all anyways because you're gonna watch because you love me. This is probably family watching me anyways right now. So I love y'all and I'll give y'all another update some other time about Buffalo Wild Wings. But to sum up what I had gone on today, Basically, the rest of this week from July 26th on Monday, I'm going to be working, uh, training, doing my training. You know, whatever they have me doing, I already know how to do my job. So it's not much that I could be told that's going to be new. But I obviously have an open ear for learning, you know. So that's what's going to be going on. And I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching. Man. I, I love y'all.